If you've been putting off changing over your website to HTTPS, I'm going to show you how easy it is with a service called Let's Encrypt. Because of Let's Encrypt, there's no longer any excuse to put off doing this. Uh, it's free. It's easy. It's really simple to use. You can learn more about Let's Encrypt at their website, uh, letsencrypt.org. And what makes this really easy is if your web host actually supports Let's Encrypt, it's literally a matter of pushing a few buttons to get your certificate. Uh, on their website, you can find a list of sites that do support it. You can log into your web host also. And if you have a cPanel hosting, see if it shows up in there. <clears throat> a lot of uh, Let's Encrypt has a, a list of supporting uh, web hosts, but there's some that aren't on the list yet that hasn't been updated. So your web host may already be on there. Um, but this is really simple. We're going to do it on my own website, the seopub.com. And if you haven't done this yet, you definitely want to do it soon. Uh, recently, Google put out an announcement that inside of Chrome, right now up here, you get this message that says that a website's secure if they're using HTTPS. And if it's not using HTTPS, that just nothing shows up. What's going to happen, though, starting in July of 2018, is there's going to be a message here that's going to say not secure if they're not using HTTPS. This won't have a drastic impact on your rankings. Google says that they're using HTTPS as a ranking signal, but if you look at any public test out there, and I've changed over a lot of websites and helped a lot of clients change over their websites, we've seen no positive impact on rankings from making the switch. But what this could affect is people who are not familiar with why they're getting that message. It could impact your conversions and, and just people not trusting your website or they see not secure, they could get worried that they're gonna get a virus or malware on their, their uh, computer or their device. So uh, that's the reason that I'm switching over all my sites. I'm encouraging all my customers to switch over their sites. Um, like I said, it's really easy to do. And I would imagine in the future, um, Firefox is gonna display a message like this. And I bet that it's gonna get more pronounced. Uh, initially, it's just gonna look like this, except say not in front of it. But I wouldn't be surprised if later it changes to kind of a big red warning or um, you know something, even a pop-up warning to, to users. So you definitely want to switch as soon as possible. And again, with Let's Encrypt, this is going to be really easy. We're going to do it live on my site, which is a WordPress site. I'm going to show you what you need to do in the hosting account, and I'm going to show you what you need to do on the back end of your WordPress site to, to make this happen. Okay, so I've logged into my web host. Um, I'm using Stablehost on my uh, website. They're one of my, my favorite hosting companies. Um, they're one of the ones that do support Let's Encrypt. Again, if you want to find out if you're web host is supporting Let's Encrypt, just go to letsencrypt.org. You'll find a list there of uh, websites that, <clears throat> excuse me, web hosts that are supporting it. So all you need to do is I'm gonna scroll down to the security section. And if your web host does support it, you'll see an uh, option like this where it just says Let's Encrypt SSL. We're gonna select that. And we scroll down here. We want to issue a certificate. And I'm going to adjust my screen a little bit here. OK, so you can see this. Um, I'm just going to include all of these. I'm not going to change anything with the options here. Hit the issue button. And you'll see it says SSL certificate is now installed onto the domain, the seopub.com, the IP address. Um, so we're good to go there. We're going to go back. I'm sorry, we're going to go to cPanel. And actually, let me go back there. You'll see now it says that there's a certificate installed for, for the site. So next thing we need to do then, we're going to log into the WordPress site and make an adjustment there. Okay, so now we log into the back end of the WordPress site, and there's two two ways you can go about this from here. Um, there's the manual way, 
which if you go into settings and general, you would want to make the change here and here on the URL. You would add an S at both spots. And this will um, change all the URLs <clears throat> to the HTTPS. WordPress also automatically sets up the proper redirect inside your HT access file so that the non -S uh, HTTPS URLs will not be accessible. It does it as a 301 redirect, so all your authority, link juice, everything gets passed on to the appropriate URLs. What you need to do if you do it the manual way is you then need to go through all your posts and pages and just make sure that there's no internal links that are still pointing to the non HTTP version. Um, you also want to make sure that there's no calls for images. So if you have an image on a page, you want to make sure it's pulling from the HTTPS version. If it's an internal image on your site, um, if it's an external image you're pulling from elsewhere, that doesn't matter. But if it's an internal image, you want to make sure it's pulling from the, the proper HTTPS URL, not the old one. Otherwise, it can throw up warnings. Uh, it's what they call mixed content, where you have a mix of HTTP and HTTPS content on the same page. And Google hasn't been real clear about this, but most likely that's going to throw up the same non not secure warning. Uh, if you have a mixed mixed content on the page. The easier way, if you don't want to do it that way, is to, there's a plugin, which we're going to go ahead and install here. And it's called Really Simple SSL. And of course, when I want to make a video, WordPress plugin search seems to be down. So I'm going to just do this the manual way. Um, I downloaded the plugin from uh, the website directly. Normally, you do that search, though, you're going to see really simple SSL show up. And then from here, all you have to do is hit activate plugin. And the plugin is going to do basically everything that I, I talked about that you would need to do manually. Okay, so got a little message there that just said that it didn't detect the SSL. Just hit the reload button, pulls right up. What it's going to do then, I paused the video for a second there because it kicks you out and you have to re-log in to your WordPress dashboard. So I didn't want to uh, share my, my login information there, so I just had to pause the video for a second. But you log right back in and you hit go ahead and activate. And there we go. And you see now it's showing as secure. We go to the website and we'll reload this. Sorry, I actually have to move this because you guys didn't see that. So you'll see now <clears throat> it's showing up as secure. And you can see it's showing up at the HTTPS. You can just go to any page here. And it's going to use that. If I try to access it without the HTTPS, you see it redirects to the HTTPS version. And you'll notice if you go into your settings, <clears throat> oops, let me log back in again. So now when you get back into your settings, you'll see that the plugin went ahead and changed this for you to the HTTPS there. 
and it should do it throughout the site. I would still just double check, go through your site, check your internal links, <clears throat> make sure that they're all correct, check for that um, all your images are being called from the correct URL version. Um, I'd still do a you know quick audit on your site after you do this, but <clears throat> the plugin and with Let's Encrypt, it should at this point be done for you throughout the site and you now have a secure website and it's it's that easy to switch from http to https now